it's I only get into the rage like this with FromSoft games or anything akin to it when there is when shit feels like if if a, if, a, if a boss is just like poorly made it's poorly made whatever it's fine whatever my problem is when there are established rules like the, like there's a covenant between the developer of these types of games and the player that's playing right it is you this is a hard game this is a can be a punishing game but the way that the game works is consistent. If you can snipe a fucking boss from 20 feet away and win that way, so be it. If you if the the the, the, the world works this way, there will there might be new things added that you have to make like make sense of, but the rules in place are consistent. Sekiro's rules have the base from softy stuff of like you know if you have the tools of your ability to do it you can do it and if you can figure it out you can figure it out if you can cheese it you can cheese it that's fine and Sekiro's big thing is is attacks that have the red symbol cannot be blocked everything else can be from the monkey throwing shit the shit from a monkey throwing it can be blocked. Bullets can be blocked. Swords, everything can be blocked. And this is the first time I've played this. Like any bot type. The reason I'm raging so hard right now is because... And I'm raging harder than if the boss I feel like is just... Is like poorly designed in a certain way. Is I don't feel like it's my lack of skill here necessarily. There are certain aspects with this fight that I've been watching. Obviously, I've been hopelessly bad at the Harakiri counter against the Corrupted Monk here. My problem fundamentally is that there are there are a couple attacks that are not highlighted as unblockable, but are practically treated as unblockable. Whether I am spot dodging for the perfect parry, or I am just straight up holding the block button, it hits me.